hey, hey. It's another Sunday night. Time to focus our energy for the week. Yay. Come on in and join me as we look at what's ahead. We've got new moon, winter solstice, lots of great energy ahead. So come on in and join me. Take a few moments to ground, to refocus, and to prepare for this amazing cosmic energy coming forward. Come on in. Yeah. Terry Ann Hyman here. Natural Forces Studio in the Empowered Spirit Circle on Facebook. Come on over and join my group, Empowered Spirit Circle. We have lots of fun, energy, information shared. Lots go on over there. So come on and enjoy. Enjoy and enjoy. <laughs> How is everybody tonight? What are you noticing all around you? We really, really are in times of change, restructuring, shifts going on. Can you feel it? Do you get excited about this? Yes, I know I do. Hey, Sean, come on in. I know I get really excited about all of this shifting going on. What about you? Are you embracing it? Are you moving forward? Are you taking chances? That's what all this energy is coming about, wondering and wanting you to do right now. Are you up for it? Hey, 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 are you up for it? Lots of shifts going on. I know all of us down here in Alabama, we created a big shift, right? Give me a thumbs up. All right, we got an embracing it and trusting this ride. Absolutely awesome, Sean. That's exactly what we need to do. Hey, Laurie, come on in. I'll be talking about you tonight. Come on in and join us. Yeah, we're going to be talking about what's going on. We're going to be grounding our energy and looking at some cards. So come on in, share this out. Be sure to say hello. Give me a thumbs up and let me know how you're doing. Let me know what is going on for you. Are you liking this structure change, this restructuring, this reconstruction, this all this shifting? Is it something that you're getting behind? Or is it something that's kind of got you in a little bit of an uproar, right? Which is it for you? Which is it? Let me know. All right, here we go. I just saw it come up on Facebook. I'm just going to share it out. Take a moment, come in, push that share button. Here we go. So lots going on. I know I can feel it. I'm actually excited. I'm actually feeling really good. I went through a couple of weeks of a little intensity for myself, but it helped me to learn a bit more about how to manage my energy, especially this time of year. How many people are noticing that with family, right? Lots going on with that as well. Definitely. All right, there we go. I shared it out. Hopefully you'll do the same. Just hit the share. Maybe there's somebody out there that could use a little guidance tonight. Because yes, there is so much going on. We are all starting to search. We're starting to look for that deeper part of what's going on in the world. Everything is coming around. Healthcare, tax reform, elections, all that sexual energy coming out, all right? All of that stuff is just breaking open right now. So where are you fitting into this? What are you noticing for yourself? Is this hard for you to align with it? Or is it something that you're just kind of huh, going along, fighting it? What is it for you? All right. That's really what this thing is, what these cosmic events are asking you to do. Look at where you are in life. Look at how you're showing up and look at what changes you're making. Or maybe it's what changes you aren't making. Are you stuck? Are you stuck in energy fighting upstream instead of going with the flow? All right. Which is it for you? Give me a hashtag going with the flow or give me a hashtag stuck. And let's see what we can do to get you unstuck and moving with that energy. I know sometimes we forget that we have all these tools, right? That's sometimes the biggest thing when we work with energy modalities and meditation and yoga and Reiki, we forget we have all these tools. And sometimes we can get so caught up in that whirlwind of energy, right? That's exactly what it is. Tonight's like the dark of the moon, really dark out there. And maybe you're feeling it. Maybe that part in you that's so critical and does all that self-talk, maybe that's what's coming forward, right? But that's not what we want to do. That's not what we want to get into. We want to be able to release that and we want to be able to let go of it. And sometimes we have to stop and see where we are. I know this happened for me and I kind of share this on the um, email tomorrow, the blog post. You know, I was like getting in this energy and part of it was from family and I was feeling really stuck and I had so much to do, but I couldn't get anything done. I seemed like I couldn't move forward. Nothing was working and I was getting really frustrated, right? And Ugh, I didn't know what to do. And then there I was all of a sudden sitting at my desk, spacing out, and I look up and I have my astrology calendar calendar right on the wall. 
And right then I realized, oh my gosh, it's still Mercury retrograde. No wonder I'm feeling this way. It's okay. It's okay for me to be a little bit laid back, for me to take a pause, for me to reevaluate where I am instead of feeling like I have to push and push and push. And that was such a relief. That was such a relief for me just to say, okay, this is part of what the energy is. And I have two choices then. I can either go with the flow or I can keep telling you to fight, 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 right? What is it you would choose to do? What is it you do choose to do during the normal day, right? All right, so for me, it was like, take a breath. I got this. Just chill. Don't try to push. Don't try to sign any new contracts or get new work out there. Just chill. And then the moment I did, the moment I recognized where we were and realized it, that's when everything just started flowing again. There was no effort. It just started flowing. So sometimes we have to remember where we are. Sometimes we have to tune in to find that information. All right. And we're going to be talking about this tomorrow with Laurie Zelensky. Yay, Laurie. I see you're on there. Z Girl Astrology Report. She's going to be updating us with this new moon energy. Lots to share. All right. It drops tomorrow, 12 o'clock. You can find it on Blog Talk Radio or after 12, you can find it on any of your favorite podcast mediums. Apple Podcast or Android, wherever you have, whatever smartphone, you can download it. So yeah, be sure to subscribe and you'll get all the latest information. Going to be changing it up in 2018. Very excited. Going to be upping my voice. Going to be really getting out there talking about all the spiritual but not religious stuff. Yep. And I'm going to be pushing it and helping others to do the same. So I'm very excited about the new year coming forward. I think I have tomorrow and one more episode on Blog Talk Radio, and then I'm moving platforms, changing it up. Got someone helping me to produce the shows. Very excited. But tomorrow, Laurie's going to be there. We're going to be talking about what this new moon has to offer us. She talks about a galactic vortex. How interesting, right? Really great vibrations coming forward. And it's all about this kind of energy that I'm talking about, empowering your life, up-leveling your life, taking a chance, taking a risk, getting out there and really stepping it up. That's the energy we're at. All right, I got a heart on that one, several hearts. All right, that's exactly where we're at right now. That's all this energy. We've been talking about it the last couple of weeks, the Scorpio energy. We're going to have a lot of fire energy coming forward. Not a lot of grounding energy, all right? We're going to have to ground. We're going to have to make sure that we do that. All right, I'm also noticing a lot of congestion with people going on in the chest and the heart, pneumonia. So that's that emotional energy, all right? So make sure that you take care of yourself in this coming two weeks, especially with the holidays. Make sure that you give yourself Reiki. Make sure you work with this energy of the body. Pull out the excess. Put a little energy in. All right, do a little eucalyptus oil, some kind of deep breathing oil, something like that. But really make sure you're clearing out this energy. I know I had to, I ended up on the acupuncturist table. Fonti, he's awesome. Just because I could feel it building up. And I knew a lot of it was emotional and some of it was germs, right? But make sure that you clear out and open this energy up. All right, lots of change going on. And if you're fighting and resisting, that's that inhale, exhale. If you're fighting it, you're going to see that even your breath is having trouble opening up and our breath is so important just like that big exhale I did when I realized where I was in the calendar it's really important why is it so important all right that's something I'm going to be talking about a lot as we move into the new year why are all these modalities important why do we need this in our everyday life well let's just start with astrology when we can better align with the cosmos when we can look at our calendars and plan on days that are more favorable kind of just like I happened to notice with the Mercury retrograde it's like oh yeah I remembered that it helps us to breathe. It helps us to feel supported. We've got the vibration of energy helping us to maintain that vibration of energy. And then we can better plan our lives so we can show up more confident. We can make choices with clarity. These are the things that we use astrology for. This is why we want to use them. This is why we want to apply it into everyday life. Yeah, we can just kind of sit around and look at it and look up at the stars and all. But no, when we use it in our everyday life. When we get out our planners and align it with the astrology aspects, the calendars, and we mark these things out, it makes planning so much easier and so much more productive. That's why we want to use this in our lives. That's why we want to understand more about even our own blueprint. Laurie will talk about this tomorrow, about our own blueprints and how these things resonate collectively and individually too. Very important. And we all can look at this. We really can. I know it's important to understand where you are in the astrology as well. All right, so as we go through this week, tomorrow, yay, new moon. Yes, I, we're not going to set intentions tonight because we're still in the dark of the moon, but tomorrow is the new moon. It's in Sagittarius. You can open up to that energy for yourself. Be sure to write down 
your intentions. We've done this before. Take some time, 10 intentions you can put out there and really get to action. If you need some help on doing this, be sure to tune in to the Empowered Spirit Show. Laurie and I talk about this on the show tomorrow. Yes, very important we do that. So we have this great energy. Most people feel enlivened and charged up by the full by the new moon. I know I do. The full moon, I get emotional energy. The new moon, I feel charged and ready to go. So we're going to see that energy come forward. Lots of energy coming forward. Monday, Tuesday's about the same. Wednesday, we're going to see the shortest night of the year, the shortest day of the year, longest night, right? We've got the darkest energy coming forward with that winter solstice. We're going to let go of fall and move right into winter. Winter really pulls our energy in, all right? We're, we've harvested, we've looked at our life, and now it's time to go in and dream, to go in and envision, to open up your imaging faculty, to open up that intuitive ability. We dream, we vision, we go deeper and deeper and deeper. So that's where we start. So even though the light starts to return, which is what the solstice is about, we start to go inside. We start to hibernate. Really important that we spend some time in there during the season of winter. We connect with our elders. We connect with those that have passed. We bring forward this energy for our life and ourselves. So this is our dreaming time. I happen to love winter. I love to get in there and just like imagine and dream and really go off. And that's the time to do it. Spring will be here and that's when we do the actual physical planting. But right now it's like imagine open up maybe there's things in there you hadn't even thought about so let your opening let your imagination just soar and open up so that's going to be on thursday i will be doing a celebration at birmingham yoga wednesday night instead of the reiki circle and restorative yoga we're going to do a winter solstice celebration i'm going to do a meditation crystal colored light bringing in the angels of winter we're going to be heart linking gabrielle calling in the angels so come in and Come join us. It's at 6 o'clock at Birmingham Yoga. So that'll carry us through. That's Wednesday night. Then Thursday is the actual solstice. And then Friday and Saturday, we're going to start to see a little bit more shift of this energy coming around. All right. We're going to start also to see Mercury go direct. Finally. Won't feel it right at first. Maybe we will a little bit. But generally, it takes a few days to move out. So that'll take us into next week. And we'll start to see a lot of this forward motion. Laurie's going to talk about all those planets in the fire sign tomorrow on the show, so be sure to tune in for all of that more specific information on carrying through this energy as we move through the week. It's the last new moon of the year, so if you haven't set any intentions, it's not too late, all right? Go ahead and set them. You can also get a head start on what your intentions are for next year, all right? This one will help you carry that through between that and the winter solstice as we move right through. So be sure to join us on the Empowered Spirit Show tomorrow to learn more. All right, so let's take a moment. I think it's really important that we take this dark of the moon energy right now and just clear out, let it go, release it out. So let's just take a moment and ground your energy. Take a nice deep inhale. And exhale away, get a light a little sage. Inhaling, maybe this is the first pause of the day you've taken. So just join me with that and exhale away. Inhale, bring that breath all the way up the body, through the crown, up into the heavens. And as you exhale, send that breath all the way back down, deep into the earth. Pull all your energy back, begin to call it back like a magnet, attract your energy from all the many places that you've left it throughout the week, throughout this weekend. Inhaling. Go ahead and close your eyes and exhaling. As we take this next inhale, lift it up the body. Call in divine spirit. Call in the masters, the teachers. Call in your energy guides. Ask to open up to this energy, to be guided and protected. Let's just take a moment and honor the fall season as we begin to say goodbye and let it go. Honor the beautiful harvest in your life. Honor all those many things that you have. The food on your table, the shelter of your head, the clothes on your back, the cars that you drive, all those many blessings. Be grateful. Honor your struggles. Honor your struggles. That's where your lessons lie. See all of that energy being raked up into a pile of leaves. Visualize that leaves. And then allow the wind to carry it away. Energy can never be destroyed, only transformed. Let's transform it as we move into the new season. Take a nice deep inhale, honoring the West where the sun sets. Our lessons are learned, we harvest our work. 
and the season of fall. Honoring the north where the new season of winter will come. Honor the east and the south, above us, below us, right into the very center. Asking for anything less than light to be gone. As we open up to this week, let us center our energy, ground, and just intend for that excess energy to fall away. Just let the wind, like those leaves, be carried away so that you can transform it back into very powerful energy for you as you move through this week. Inhaling and exhaling. Feel your feet on the floor. Bring your center back. Bring the awareness back. Just do a little scan. Notice where you are. See if you're feeling more grounded. Feel the energy coming in. Bring that work field a little tighter. Maybe yours has been all over the place. Bring it in. As we open up and look what the cards have to offer us for this new moon energy in the winter solstice as we move forward. I placed them on the um, Facebook, on the social media, one, two, or three. We're working with the wild unknown. I still love these cards. Yeah. All right. So here we go. If you chose card number one under this beautiful, amazing Herkimer diamond. Yes. Magnifies the energy. It's the lover's card. How beautiful is that to start off with? This card is really about honoring those relationships in your life. All right. Really honoring them. All right. Not taking them for granted. This energy right now has been forcing us to look at our relationships and look at that connections. So look how together these geese are. When we mate for life, really, this is what happens. We are in alignment. So if this is the card you picked, what are the relationships in your life? Are you in one? Can you offer a little more gratitude and attention to it? Can you let go of some of the struggles? Where is it for you? And if you're not in one, can you do this with your own spirit? Can you align with your own self and love yourself more? All right, that's what this card is offering us to do, to look at that connection to that divine spirit of your own self, self-love, as well as relationships in your life. All right, so that's the first card we have for moving through this new moon. Up your intentions. All right, if we apply it to what we're asking, up your intentions for your relationships. If you're seeking one, up your efforts, up that intention to bring it in for you. That's what we do with new moons. Make sure you write that out in your intention tomorrow. All right, card number two, also under this amazing Herkimer diamond. All right, I love this card. It's one of my favorites. It's the two of wands. All right, if you drew this two of wands, this is all about making a new choice, being very successful at it. This card is pointing you to a new way. All right, you've taken a chance. You're trusting. That's what this card is about. So you're going with that new direction that brings you lots of success. Now, it also reminds us to kind of make sure you look at all of those passions and desires. Make sure you also look at what you're feeding yourself in terms of your thoughts and your mind about this new direction. Keep it positive. Even if you're on uncharted territory, lots of times that's when the self-talk comes in. Just stay strong. Don't let everybody else's opinion get in your way. Stay focused. See how they're pointing to that one direction. Love this card. Lots of success coming forward for you. All right, got a little thumbs up there. All right, now if you drew three, we have another major arcana. This is a strength card. I love this. I love this for right now because, yes, it is taking courage and strength. Strength from the inside. Strength from our hearts to move forward. Look, he has a rose in his mouth. Look at the infinity on his head. So it's not from the roar that is so strong. It's from that deeper part of who we are. And it's taking strength right now to up-level your work, to stand on your edge, all right? Be discomfort. Be in that discomfort right now. Let's do a podcast today. She podcast. Elsie, Elsie, I'm mentioning you, and Jesse, they were talking about that. Be in the discomfort so that we can make changes, so that you can make changes. It's okay to be uncomfortable. We can stand stronger when we start to learn from what that is. That's what this courage is all about. Take that strength card and move forward in your life right now. Really great card for where we are right now. Don't be afraid. Trust the universe has your back. I've been saying that a lot. All right, so the overall influence for everybody, which is actually a really good card too, is the Daughter of Pentacles. This is our grounding card. All right, Laurie's going to tell us tomorrow. We need to make sure we ground. Lots of fire planets moving around. 
But this is a card to make us, it's like that practical, it's like the person that does the work, the really responsible, grounding with the earth. I know down here we're going to have a lot of rain, but get outside if you can. Don't neglect being out in nature, even though it's winter, right? So this is going to help us to remind us to ground our energy so that we can be grounded when we set those intentions for love, when we set that intention to keep following that new direction that's come forward for us, and when we use that strength. All right, sometimes we have to ground our feet. I know I do. I have to send energy right through my feet when I need to be strong and stand tall in my word. So I know this is a very good card for that too. That really does work well with this Daughter of Pentacles reminding us to ground. All right, so how were those cards for you? Let me know if they were searching, if, if they were hitting what you were choosing today. Sean, how was it? I see you sending energy. Hey, Reggie, how you doing? Good to see you. Where have you been, man? Come in. All right. Hey, Sonam, how are you? How's New York? All right, guys. Anybody have any questions? Anybody want a card? I've got a few minutes here. Laura, you picked three spot on. Yep, I agree. Lots of courage to come forward. And you have made a great choice in all that you're doing. Very proud. Very happy to be working with you and letting this all come forward. Definitely. All right. Choice three, Sean, you too. I saw when you placed that on there today. Yes, another strength card. It does require strength to go through these changes, but hey, there's nothing wrong with course correcting and there is nothing wrong with failing forward in order to pick yourself up and move on. That's how I learn. That's exactly how I learn. All right. Yeah. Sometimes you fail, you fall and it's like, oh, how can I stand up again? But you know what? That's where your lessons come forward. So when we take the choices and the chances that the universe is calling for, that's how we do it. And that's how we move forward. All right. Sean says he'll take one more bonus card. All right. Love you, sister, too. Laurie. Excited for the episode to drop tomorrow. Definitely. All right. Here we go. I'm shuffling them up. All right, Sean. Here we go. The Mother of Cups. All right. That's all that nurturing energy. That's all that love, that coming from the heart, the compassion for everyone else. All right, that is very important right now. And as you go to do the work that you're doing, this is going to be an important aspect for you too. All right, very important that you kind of open up to that, not be afraid of that, that energy, that, that mothering, that intuitive ability to love and to nurture unconditionally. That's going to come forward for you. All right, all right, let's see. Laurie, you want another card too? And then Kendall. All right, Laurie. Laurie, we got the Seven of Swords. All right, that's kind of an interesting card. Look at that. All right, there's something underneath here, right? There's one and there's like a little fox sitting on it. So look for some hidden details this week, all right? Look for something you haven't seen, all right? So look out there and find that for, to see if you can understand what that is for you, all right? There's a detail in there that you need to look at. Sometimes we can forget something. So go back in there and find that for you. Maybe there's something that you haven't been wanting to see. Maybe, do you know what I mean? Let me know how this resonates with you, all right? Seven of Swords. All right, seven is spiritual number two, so sometimes we cannot be clearly looking at everything. It's got one eye open. Look at that, and one eye closed, looking out, all right? It's almost like a little protection, too. Very interesting. All right, Kendall wants to take a card. Laurie, let me know how that resonates with you. All right, Kendall, this is the Father of Swords, all right? So this is that, that watchful energy. All right, be careful not to get too critical, Bring it in in a very powerful way. Know all that's going on, all right? So there's a lot of observation that comes with the Father of Swords. But if we watch too much sometimes, we can get a little bit judgmental, and that's more of that yang energy, all right? So be careful of everybody else's opinions as well around you, all right? It's good to watch and to know, but be sure to find that place of neutrality. Witness a little bit what you're watching, all right? Very important as we move through. We don't want to get into any of that self-talk or that self-judgment, all right. All right. Totally resonates, as you know. Okay, Laurie, good. Yay. All right. Anybody else? I don't know if I missed anybody. All right, guys, we have lots of great energy coming forward. Come join us at Birmingham Yoga for the solstice. Very excited. The angels. Yep, it'll be a nice evening. And then actually on Saturday, if you finish all your shopping and all that, Calm the chatter. All right, Kendall, good. If you finish, come on over to Birmingham Yoga Saturday. We're going to do a master restorative class with sound bowls, the gong, colors and lights. Christina Avery and I are going to do it. She's going to lead that, and I'll play the bowls. A great way to really 
Release it all before the holidays come in. That's Saturday from 2 to 4 at Birmingham Yoga. Be sure to join us. A really great way to take a little mini vacation. Hey, Millie, of course you can get one. Where are you right now? You in Tuscaloosa? Are you on the West Coast? Where are you? All right, this one's from Millie. The Tower. All right, Millie, what's going on? What's going on? Things are changing and shifting. All right, so you be in charge of that. Look at that. You expect some changes coming up as you move through this next phase. All right, when we're in, when we're in control of that, we can kind of dictate how we want to make those choices. So don't be a victim to it. Be empowered by this. Make some changes. You're in Tuscaloosa now. Make some changes that you've been wanting to go through because that's what it is. Look how that. Look how the. Um, Lightning comes in in the fire, all right? So if you're ignoring something, now's not the time to ignore it. Make sure that you take some action to make changes that you need, especially as we start to get to the end of the week and the retrograde moves out. You're going to feel that forward motion card, all right? I don't like to be afraid of this card. I like to be proactive and say, okay, what do I need to look at and what does need to change for me, all right? That's what this card is about. All right, Thelma, how are you? All right, Thelma, this card is for you. This is the Five of Pentacles. So this is a card that shows that there is some healing that needs to be done, all right? You've, you've accomplished a lot, but there is a little bit of healing. Look how the rose is turned over. It's almost like a drop of blood, all right? So something that needs to be healed is coming forward for you at this time. I know sometimes at this time of year that can be hard if we have some things that have been going on. But it is also about change, too. Five is about change. So in order to move through some of that change in the physical world, you still need a little healing to activate to go forward. I hope that resonates with you. So it really just reminds me to allow you to ground your energy and to take some time for you. Very important to take some time for you. I know during the holidays we can get all over the place with all the many things. But finding that time for self-care is really, really important. It really is important. So run your energy. Do your meditations. Do your yoga. This is how we can show up better, stronger, with more confidence when we are really aware of how our energy is. All right. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, Millie. Thank you, too. Let me know what changes you're going through, Millie. All right, guys. Got a lot going on. We've got the Reiki 3 class moving forward. Very excited about that. And then we've got the events at Birmingham Yoga this week. So definitely be sure to join us for the uh, Listen In, download the Empower Spirit Show. You can subscribe. I will be changing it up in 2018. But join us tomorrow as Laurie gives us a report. Y'all have a great night. Take this out into the week. Look for these signs on ways that you can commit. Use your strength. Find that direction. Renew your love. Set your intention. See if you can do that and ground your energy as you move through this week. All right. Have a good week. Thank you so much for joining me. Oh, Tuesday mornings, Pranayama in the Empowered Spirit Circle. Come on, join us, 6 a.m. We've been really focusing there with the Pranayama, all on Facebook. All right, to your spirit. Namaste.